vlog a little bit today. It's the weekend and Jason and I already both went and worked out this morning. I got everything out of the way. I did like two hours, which may sound crazy. I've said this before of like a kickboxing, full body, core type class. It was a really good workout. Um, and then I did legs. And I probably wouldn't normally work out three hours, but I am trying to get ahead a little bit with my cut since I'm four weeks out and I am going on vacation. So just trying to get ahead as much as possible. But uh, now it's 11.30 and we're running late. Sorry about that. We're running on Kara time, <laughs> which yeah, is but, always late. But then you wanted to wait. You wanted me to wait for you. And I was like, no, baby, that's not how this situation works. You wait for me. I don't wait for nobody. You know what I'm saying. So anyways, we're off to the MPC show that I originally had planned on doing. Um, it's a Bev Francis show. Is that right? Bev Francis. Um, first time doing an MPC show in Syracuse in a long time. I know there's lots of girls, girls I've competed with before, um, fairly locally that are competing today. So I wanted to go to still see the show um, just because it's cool. Like even if I'm not part of it, I want to go see it. We pretty much know people competing in every division, bodybuilding, physique, figure, and bikini. So it'll be good to go. And I like going to pre-judging versus the night show because number one, it's cheaper. Number two, at pre-judging, there's never as many people there kind of supporting the competitors. And that's usually when you're like really judged is at pre-judging. So it's nice to be there to kind of cheer for people and stuff like that. And also I like seeing the pre-judging. I like seeing how they move people around and trying to get an idea of what the judges are looking for. Because sometimes at the night show, they don't always have everyone do their full presentation in MPC. Um, so that's, I just feel like with pre-judging you get, you get the full show. You don't get all like the glamor of the night show, but I don't know, I just prefer it. So if, uh, if you guys are thinking about competing, I do highly recommend going to a show, find a local show, go to pre-judging and watch it and see what you think, see how you feel. Um, part of me wanting to go today, not only to scope out the competition, see how people are looking, but um, just to get you know a little more excited being four weeks out from my show, usually going and watching people compete, it's like, oh, I wanna be up there. I wanna be the one on that stage. You know, so hopefully that'll help give me a new little fire in my belly. Although it's already in there, but... That's a three hour workout. Huh? I'd say with a three hour workout. Three hour workout, workout I freaking killed it. It was so, it was hard. Like I am, I'm trying to be like peppy for you guys right now, but I'm like trying to get ready today and like wash my hair. I was like, oh my God, someone like comb my hair for me. I can't, I can't do it. And that's probably how I'm going to be feeling realistically the next four weeks because I just want to give it my all. And like, even though I'm cutting down on my diet, I still have like really good energy during my workouts. And I, I love that, but I pretty much put it all out there during my workouts. So the rest of the day, I'm a little bit like lacking a little bit of perkiness. And normally I'm pretty like upbeat and you guys know how I am. But lately I've been a little more quiet and not as like, woohoo. So, you know, that kind of comes along with the territory. It's to be expected. Um, plus I get up at 3 a.m. to go work out. I get up at 3 a.m. to be to the gym by 4 a.m. most days of the week. Today I got there at 6 a.m. Got up at 5 a.m. But we also went to bed later. So I didn't really get any more sleep. So... Anyways, hopefully we didn't miss. I'm really hoping this show started late because I want to see um, one of our friends in bodybuilding and, you know, just kind of want to see the whole thing. It's nice to be on the other side of things and just sitting there and getting to watch it. So we'll probably get some footage at the show and continue to vlog on.
Alright guys, so we just watched some of the show and now we're here. One of my sponsors is here, P28. I can see those post-competition because this shit is where it's at. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. The protein pancakes. You got all kinds of spreads. You got Tony the Ridiculous. You got bagels, bread. So good. He hooked me up. Bella! Alright, so they hooked me up with some stuff. Show you guys what I got here. I've yet to try the new caramel turtle spread. This is a high protein cashew spread. And I love cashew butter, so stocked up on that and then we're gonna try the new p28 apple crisp protein spread there's nothing else like this out there right now but i have to save this little bad boy till after i compete so it's really really sad for me i can't taste it you guys i really can't like i can't even have a taste because you go I balls just, deep. i'll go balls deep like right in it and i can't i can't know how good it tastes and then we got some bagels so hopefully jason doesn't eat all this stuff on me before i compete and um yeah, don't forget P28. You guys can use my discount code to get yourselves 10% off. Care P28. Thanks. I felt really good. It was like, I said to him the last show last year, I just kind of left it. Like, Exactly, my body was holding it because I did a show the same week that you did last you did. time. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, it was good. Like, that time frame we had in between, it was like, All right. so I put on too much and I was like, it wasn't enough time. Yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Danielle's actually my coach and she was like, Got you. Oh, we going? We going. All right. Um, we were out and about and got pretty hungry, so we decided to eat at Core, which is a place in Syracuse. For those of you that follow me that live here, you've probably ate here because it's one of like the few healthy options in Syracuse. It's kind of known as like a clean eating type place. But I got the greens bowl with kale and romaine, cucumbers, bell peppers, carrots, and celery. And I got double grilled chicken, which we found out is marinated with a little soy sauce and ginger. So, and I got double chicken, did I say that? Two times two. So, um, odds are my weight will probably be up from a little sodium, but that's okay. I'm four weeks out. I probably won't be eating out too much more of this kind of stuff like as we get closer to the show, but I worked out three hours today. I can handle a little extra sodium. And their dressings here are all homemade and gluten-free, so I got a combination of, this is their Greek yogurt Caesar dressing. And it's nice because they have their nutritionals online. So I also got their cranberry vinaigrette. And it may sound odd, but I'm gonna use a little of each and it kind of makes a sweet and salty combo. So, time to grub. All right guys, we are back home now and this is probably gonna conclude the vlog. It's about six o'clock at night. Um, we were possibly gonna go to a haunted house tonight but it's literally 40 degrees out in Syracuse. It's freezing and I'm tired. So that just kind of happens when you're in prep. You get tired, you can only tolerate so much. Um, so, and we're not gonna go back to the night show because like I said, prejudging was good. And I follow a lot of people on Instagram so I'll try to find out who won and how everyone did. Um, we are going to just hang out, have some decaf coffees and have a nice lovely evening on the couch catching up on tv shows right now we're watching um we're into scream queens and american horror story we're only one episode in american horror story so um one episode in. i think i like this season so far every season's been very different but if any of you guys watch either of those shows Comment below if you're liking American Horror Story this season. And if you watch Scream Queens, let me know as well. I think that show is freaking hilarious and funny. And I don't know. It's just, I really love it. It's great. Um, so comment below if you watch those. Or go watch them if you don't. That's my suggestion for you. Yesterday's outfit purchase? Um, yeah. Can anyone guess where I got what pants these are? If you can, you win a prize. What's the prize, I think? I don't know. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the prize is. Um, I'll find something. <laughs> I'll send you something if you can guess. 
Um, I think that's it, right, Jay? That's it. I think um, I got to meet a couple people today and that I follow on Instagram and stuff like that. And I just want to say it's so fun to meet people you follow on Instagram because I was telling Jason, it's nice because like you you kind of get to meet people and make friends through social media without like that weird phase like you don't know if you like someone like you can kind of figure out if you like people on social media based on their interest and you kind of get a sense of their personality which makes it so nice to meet people in person because you already feel like you're good friends and like it's really easy to talk to people so I love it so for anyone that watches my YouTube and sees me please come say hello um, love meeting new people and talking to anyone so don't ever like be afraid even if I'm like shoveling food in my mouth come say hello it's cool i swear i'm really nice <laughs> all right that's it gonna go get my sweatpants on wild saturday night <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> oh yeah fills that whole bowl perfect okay now the fun part since this is such a healthy alternative to ice cream, is you can go crazy. Girls gone wild on this bitch. You can add any kind of toppings you want, depending on your macros. Some people